So this here is a sample of a banner out of our sample packs when we did for Nuki Zoo. Uh, and the point of it is really just to show you the back side here is, this is a hem running up the side and across the top, and this is the eyelet. Uh, the hem is 25 millimeters wide, uh, and it needs to be included around the outside of your finished artwork so that we can fold it, attach it, and punch the eyelets in. Afternoon everybody, it's Mark here at County Signs. Uh, I just wanted to take you through quickly a few minutes just to show how to knock up a quick banner uh, using Microsoft Publisher. We tend to use Adobe's Creative Cloud suite for doing design work using Illustrator, InDesign and Photoshop. We don't use Publisher very often but I appreciate lots of customers don't have uh, Creative Cloud or access to those apps but you've probably got a subscription to Microsoft Office so you've probably got Publisher uh, and that is a good halfway house. Uh, so let's put together a quick banner, uh, colour background, bit of text, the design content can be anything that you uh, want really, whatever your message is. There are some limitations on the size, uh, especially of typefaces of bits and pieces, so anything much beyond an 8x4 banner, um, you sorry an 8 foot by 2 foot banner, you're probably going to start to struggle with uh, font sizes and image resolution and stuff but uh, we can cover that in another video so here we are in publisher we're going to just grab a new blank A4 we're going to go uh, to page design uh, under size uh, and we're going to do uh, create new page size and we're going to call it uh, 8 by 2 foot banner and it's 244 centimeters by 61 same down yeah, you need to change this to custom 244 by 61 and you'll notice that that jumps. So make sure this and that and that and that are the same. Get rid of the margins, you don't need them and then click OK. And this is your eight foot wide by two foot tall banner. We are going to insert a color background. So we're going to insert shape. We want a square or a rectangle draw box uh, if you right click on it a format auto shape you can adjust the size and the fill and what have you so let's leave it at that nice blue but we will go in in a minute and if you go under more colors so click in this little drop down more colors make sure you are choosing your colors from CMYK please because that is the color range that we print from uh, and that is what you will need to specify uh, and that is what you want to come out on your ultimate PDF. Uh, if you choose RGB colours you will find that these bright greens and some bright blues and stuff you cannot print them. So make sure if you're choosing colours choose them from CMYK. Let's bump the cyan up a little bit and we'll chuck a little bit more magenta in and we'll get a nice bright blue. Click OK. Uh, we've got a little black frame round which is good but we'll change the size to one point we'll explain that later and then we're going to kick on size and we're going to make it the size of our documents 244 by 61 click OK whoops uh, let's try that again format auto shape size uh, that helps if you get the height and the width around the right way and click OK uh, so now it's the right size and we're going to go under the align button here center it put it in the middle, now you've got a blue background. Uh, next thing to do is to draw some text. You could place an image on here if you wanted to. Um, but let's go with some something that's quite popular at the moment and say thank you to the NHS. Bump the old point size right up. We can right click on this and format text box. We can make that the same size as our document. 61 high and 244 wide. We can align again. We've got a home, align, center, align, middle, and then view page width. And let's just change this typeface because it's horrible. Uh, and we could go under home, sorry, and choose something like Berlin Sands. That font's a bit massive now. We're going to center the text. And we're going to center it in the, no we're not. We're gonna change the color 
to white. Uh, if you right click on format text box, you have some options to center it here. Middle, probably went a bit quick, so right click, format text box, text box, middle. Okay. And then adjust your content to whatever suits your design. I'm happy with a nice NHS blue background, some white text. And that's our design. So we're going to save that. File save as. Save it to the desktop so it's easy to find. NHS banner. And that's your design. The next stage is to get it ready for artwork, which is to include the hem uh, and some other bits and pieces that we need so that we know where to fold the print and ultimately finish it. So we're now going to go back to page design. We're going to go under size. We're going to right click on our template we made. And we're going to add 25 millimeters on all sides to our document to get our hem. So we need to make the page width five centimeters wider. So it's 249. That's five centimeters taller, 66. And we do the same on here, 249, 66. And click OK. Nothing will happen. You'll need to choose your template. And when you do that, you get this nice white hem. This is the extra bit that we're going to fold around um, and make the hem on your banner. Now we could just fold along this line it would be fine but what, I, what, is, what is quite nice actually is to make the whole of the background the same color so that you don't end up with a white edge so we'll move this text box out of the way box we've got slow computer bear with me and then we're going to paste the copy and we're going to make that the size of our new page size 66 by 249 okay the same again home Align, align center, align middle, and now we're going to send it to the back. I'm going to grab our text box and we're going to align that to the center. And then view page width. So now we've got artwork that's ready to print. So both of these boxes have got a little black frame round. So we know where to cut along the edge of this one. We know where to fold along the edge of this one when we make your hem. Uh, and that's basically it. Uh, if you're going, what you'll tend to find with some fonts, 999 points is as big as you can make a font in Publisher. Um, it's probably okay for most instances, but if you're trying to make a banner bigger, uh, you're going to have to start working at scale if you need bigger text, just something to bear in mind. Um, so that's that. So what we'll do is we'll save that. I'll save as. Save it to the desktop. NHS banner, we're going to just append that with two prints. So you've got two versions. You've got your artwork, you just, sorry, your design version, and then you've got your artwork with the hem. So click save. Now the next step is to make a PDF. So we're going to go file, export, click this button, create PDF. And nothing to change here, really. Just make sure this is on PDF. Make sure you're saving it in a place where you can find it, the desktop. Now click on options, and these are all the different options for making a PDF, and they'll do slightly different things. They'll compress images uh, depending on which settings you've got. You want to have at least high quality printing or commercial press to make a PDF for print. It won't improve the quality of any low res images you've got in your design, so you need to make sure that the images that you place, logos, photographs, uh, anything you you're going to put on your design, you've got to make sure that they're the right quality for the size you're printing at. Once you've done that, you've got your design, you come in here, make your export PDF. High quality printing is fine for our purposes. If you click through these, you'll notice some of the settings change, but high quality is fine. Click OK and click Publish. And there is our PDF open straight away in Acrobat. If we hover down here, we'll be able to check the size. The overall document size is 2490 uh, by 660, which is 8 foot by 2 foot with our 25 mil hem all round. You can give me that PDF. You can email that to me along with a purchase order, and we can print and manufacture your banner with no interference whatsoever.